Welcome back everybody to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host T. How are y'all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing Ice Spice's debut album, Y2K. Before I hop in, please like, share, and subscribe, and let's talk in the comments. Okay, y'all. I am only doing this because somebody requested it. I was not checking for this album. I am not really checking for Ice Spice past, like, that Nikki text situation. I'm going to touch on that. But I don't know. I just really wasn't checking for this project. Like, I really wasn't. And then I heard it, and I was like, yeah, that's why I wasn't checking for it. So, like, this album is just sad. This is supposed to be her debut album. It's 10 songs, and it's 23 minutes. That's a problem. Like, really. Like, I listened to this a few days ago for the first time. I was like, okay, somebody asked me to review it. So I played it and I was like listening to it while I was preparing another video, like getting like my visuals together for another video. And it ended so quickly. I was like, that's it. And then I looked at the, you know, the duration time and I was like, this album is 23 minutes. Like what the hell? And of course, no song on here is over three minutes. And, um, this is just a mess like it has some decent beats i think riot is a great producer but the lyrics are redundant and remedial like every song is talking about the same thing and it's very repetitive and the flows she's got slightly different flows here and there but overall is really not hitting like that um i like the song let's see fat butt is decent I love Did It First because I think it has a really good beat. And I think she does have a pretty good verse on there. I think she's got like some, you know, she does decent on that one. And then uh, let's see. I thought BB Belt was okay. Like it's a song that you could party to. But other than that, this is not hitting like that. The song Oh Shit or Oh Sh with Travis Scott, trash. Like I uh, Travis Scott's verse was awful. Like, a horrible verse from him the song papa it was just a bunch of recycled nikki lyrics like i'm not here for it mind you she's wearing nikki wigs like i don't want to hear that shit i don't want to see that shit like i'm over it and then let's see plenty sun i don't even remember it thank you to shit it's a decent little diss song i don't know if it should have made the album i think it was a cute little diss against lotto but I don't think it was album worthy. Give me a light. Sean Paul needs to be in jail. Like, why did you clear that? Like, what the hell is wrong with you? And then we have the end, which is like the worst song in the album. Like, how do you end the album on a bad note? TTYL was trash. Like, she's yelling the entire song. It was just awful. Like, it's it hurts to listen to it. It's very Meek Mill and Cardi B yell at you vibes. Like, I wasn't feeling it. So... I almost forgot one. Bitch Unpacking featuring Gunna, forgettable. And I like Gunna, but it's just nothing that I recall. I don't even remember the, the song at all. I don't remember the melody, the nothing about it. And I don't even want to hear it again. Trash. Like, a lot of this is trash. Ice Spice has nothing to talk about. No real experiences. No real sustenance. Like, this is just, you know music for middle schoolers and freshmen in high school like if you're a junior in high school listening to this you still need your ass beat because this is trash this is music for kids and it's and if that's the thing it's really not for kids like this is very explicit music but nobody of maturity could really get into this and that's how you know there's another agenda being pushed here but this is just a mess i want to put it out there that again when it comes to Nicki minaj let's talk about that real quick i know that Ice Spice looks up to her and is trying to channel her. I know Nicki is like the blueprint for female rappers right now. I get it, but I don't want a bunch of Nicki knockoffs. Like, I don't. That's why I don't listen to Doja Cat because a lot of it just reminds me of Nicki Minaj. And I don't want to hear anybody that reminds me of Nicki Minaj. I want to hear the Nicki Minaj. So that's my issue with this. All of these, again, recycled Nikki lyrics all of this you know again channeling her with the wigs it's like girl bye like I'm not I'm not interested of course then the Rolling Stone mess comes out with 
oh yeah like i did say those things but i was just frustrated to be honest with you guys i think it's all orchestrated drama for press and mess i honestly do i don't really believe that her and nikki have any beef and i don't really believe that like she's really like had an issue with nikki i just don't i think it's just orchestrated illuminati antics but it's just like girl you know you sound stupid and you look stupid like just you do that that looks horrible for her like that Nicki minaj shit with the rolling stone and the text messages you look dumb as fuck and you sound stupid as fuck too like and then you did all of that only to have a whack-ass album like girl you can really get your ass right back to new york and i feel like jt really like shitted on this like jt had like jt's mixtape sounded like an album and i really didn't even like that either but compared to this jt is well more developed than ice spice well more developed because at least she can make a fucking full song and a full body of work like which is the bare minimum because this is just trash that could have been left in the damn studio like this is a mess her first project was better than this like her first mixtape i forgot the name whatever who even cares it was better than this mess this is just again criminal so i hate this project it's gonna be out with by the end of the week like tiktok might hype a few verses a few songs off of this but this project is not gonna even again carry us to the fall it's just not it is not this project is cheap microwavable popcorn cheap popcorn it is going to burn easy it is going to be right into the trash just as easy as you popped it out of the plastic like this is just awful so you know y'all wanted an honest review i don't like the project there's only like three songs that i can get into every now and again other than that it's just a mess again i do think did it first is one of the best songs on the album because it has such a really good beat but i honestly am not the biggest fan of uk rappers neither like i don't really like their accent when they rap all the time there's a just only a few uk rappers that like only a few uk rap songs i can get into i'm not the biggest fan of uk rappers and central c's verse it hurts my ears it does with that thick ass accent so i'm not feeling it of course she's doing her symbolisms in the video with the with the what you call it the statue of liberty and of course with the pizza um symbolism for the rolling stone she doing the work that they want her to do so we know why she's here she's pushing the agenda but the, the music is still trash um let's talk about kai sinat he asked this damn fool to rap or to freestyle all she could do was shake her ass like why would you go back on kai sinat's show to literally twerk the entire show she spends the entire show with her back to the camera she spends the entire show bent over butt to the camera shaking ass the entire show no real conversation no real sustenance no real talent no real rhymes just ass literally pun intended ass music and just ass on the damn kai sinat show like just nothing but just again corn for the kids like and i'm not talking about candy corn and i'm not talking about corn on the cob i'm trying to keep it clean corn for kids if you can pick up what i'm putting down like this is just trash this is really melting the minds of a generation and i only rest easy knowing that ice spice will not be around long so let's talk in the comments y'all what do y'all think about this project other than that i hit y'all in the next one bye